In this video, we shall discuss subfactorial of a non-negative integer. First, we shall discuss what is a subfactorial and then we shall give three different formulas to find the subfactorial of a non-negative integer. We take a set containing three elements 1, 2, 3 and we want to find the subfactorial of 3. To find the subfactorial, we shall make use of factorial function. As we know that uh, factorial of 3 is equal to 6. Also, factorial counts number of ordered arrangements of distinct objects. Ordered arrangements. Let's write down all arrangements 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1. Now, subfactorial counts number of derangements of distinct objects. Derangements. What is a derangement? A derangement is a permutation where object is not in its original or natural position. Let's find out derangements. For this, we shall cancel out the ordered arrangements where the elements 1, 2, 3 are in its original position. Let's begin with 1. Uh, 1, uh, the original position of 1 is this, the original position of 2 is this, the original position of 3 is this. We cancel out 1 where it is in its original position. Cancel out this and cancel out this. Next, we cancel out 2 where 2 is in its original position. Cancel out this and cancel out this. Now comes the uh, number 3. Uh, now we cancel out the original positions of 3. Cancel out this and cancel out this. Now note that 1, 2, 3, 4. These 4 permutations are cancelled out. Here the elements are in their original positions. Now these two permu uh, permutations or uh, order array, ordered arrangements are left where the elements are not in their original position. So these two are derangements. Therefore number of derangements uh, is equal to 2. It means the subfactorial of 3 is equal to 2 because subfactorial counts number of derangements of distinct objects. Now we discuss the first formula for subfactorial. This formula works for all non-negative integers. So for any non-negative integer n, subfactorial of n can be written as n factorial into summation k from 0 to n minus 1 raised to power k over k factorial. We find the subfactorial of 3 and we can write subfactorial of 3 is equal to 3 factorial into summation k from 0 to 3 minus 1 raised to power k over k factorial. We expand the uh, summation and write minus 1 raised to power 0 over 0 factorial plus minus 1 raised to power 1 over 1 factorial plus minus 1 raised to power 2 over 2 factorial plus minus 1 raised to power 3 over 3 factorial. Now we simplify and get subfactorial of 3 is equal to 6. Factorial of 3 is 6. Minus 1 raised to power 0, 1. 0 factorial, 1. Minus 1 raised to power 1, minus 1, 1 factorial, 1. Minus 1 raised to power 2, 1, 2 factorial, 2. Minus 1 raised to power 3, minus 1, 3 factorial, 6. Um, simplify and get. Subfactorial of 3 is equal to 6 into 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 6. Cancel plus 1 and minus 1 and take LCM of 1 by 2 and 1 over 6 and get. Subfactorial of 3 is equal to 6 into 3 minus 1 over 6. Cancel out 6 with 6 and get subfactorial of 3 is equal to 2. Now we find the subfactorial of 0. We write the formula and put the value of n to be 0. Therefore, subfactorial of 0 is equal to 0 factorial into minus 1 raised to power 0 over 0 
factorial as we are to write only one iteration now sub factorial of uh, 0 will be equal to 1 into 1 over 1 we know that factorial of 0 is 1 minus 1 raised to power 0 1 0 factorial 1 hence uh, sub factorial of 0 is 1 now we find the sub factorial of uh, 1 we write the formula and put the value of n is equal to 1 therefore sub factorial of 1 is equal to 1 factorial into summation k from 0 to 1 minus 1 raised to power k over k factorial we expand the uh, summation and uh, get uh, 1 factorial is 1 minus 1 raised to power 0 over 0 factorial plus minus 1 raised to power 1 over 1 factorial after simplification uh, we can write sub factorial of 1 is equal to 1 into 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is 0 therefore sub factorial of 1 is 0 to remember sub factorial of 1 is 0 now we discuss the second formula for sub factorial according to this formula for any positive integer n remember this formula works only for positive integers so for any positive integer n the sub factorial of n is equal to nearest integer of n factorial over e where e is the Euler number here this bracket function gives the nearest integer for example if i can write 1.3214 the nearest integer will be equal to 1 and if I write 1.7112 the nearest integer will be 2 so uh, we can find uh, the sub factorial of a positive integer using this formula we can also use this formula now we find the sub factorial of 3 so we can write sub factorial of 3 is equal to 3 factorial over e uh, 3 factorial is equal to 6 6 over e e is uh, Euler's number whose value is 2.71 and so on after simplification we get factorial of 3 is equal to 2.2022 now the nearest integer of 2.2072 is 2 therefore sub factorial of 3 is equal to 2 now we uh, find the sub factorial of uh, 1 we write the formula and put the value of n is equal to 1 here we have put n is equal to 1 so sub factorial of 1 is equal to nearest integer of 1 factorial over e we simplify and get uh, sub factorial is equal to 0 0.3672 now the nearest integer of 0 0.3678 is 0 therefore sub factorial of 1 is equal to 0 now we give the third formula for sub factorial uh, do remember this formula works for integers greater or equal to 2 so uh, sub factorial of n is equal to n minus 1 into sub factorial of uh, n minus uh, 1 plus sub factorial of n minus 2 uh, with the, this formula we are provided a factorial of 1 is equal to 0 and factorial of 0 is equal to 1 if these conditions are met then we can find the sub factorial of a integer greater or equal to 2 but uh, we are to find the sub factorial of 3 therefore sub factorial of 3 will be equal to 3 minus 1 into sub factorial of 3 minus 1 plus sub factorial of 3 minus 2 sub factorial of 3 minus 1 plus sub factorial of 3 minus 2 upon simplifications we get uh, sub factorial of 3 is equal to 2 into sub factorial of 2 plus sub factorial of 1 now sub factorial of 2 is 1 sub factorial of 2 is 1 and sub factorial of 1 is 0 so simplification gives sub factorial of 3 is equal to 2 now we elaborate why sub factorial of uh, 2 is 1 according to above formula we can write sub factorial of 2 is equal to 
2 minus 1 plus uh, into subfactorial of 2 minus 1 plus subfactorial of 2 minus 2. Simplification gives subfactorial of 2 is equal to 1 into subfactorial of 1 plus subfactorial of 0, which gives 0 plus 1. 1 into 1 subfactorial of 2 is 1.